Look at you. Welcome back to Crypto's Juiciest News. Yes, I'm wearing a Snorlax hat, friends. We are looking at Bitcoin's price at 69,000 American dollars. This is a four hour chart. I just want to remind you what everybody in the world has drawn is this triangle, okay? Everyone's got this triangle drawn. And usually, because you have bullish momentum, usually, friends, they break up to the upside. Usually. However, okay, there are nasty, nasty sharks everywhere, okay? Everyone thinks this is going to happen sometimes. They go, Woo! that could happen as well. And it fakes everybody out, wipes everyone leverage, and then you go. So, look, all this short-term stuff, I'm just trying to tell you what goes on. And if you're new, welcome, welcome take a seat over there. Make sure you like, subscribe, friends. I was actually very frustrated today because I'm just looking at the amount of insanely high value content I'm giving for free. It's actually starting to piss me off. The amount of stuff I'm giving him for free, like the 10 plus years thrown in here for people and repeated as well. I'm like, man, man, if you guys don't smash it, I'm going to be so disappointed. But I know, I know you are, you are going to smash it. Look, there might be a shock surprise to the upside. And I just came to this realization. I go, you know what, man? Do you guys know how much money they freaking printed in 2021? You don't, you don't know. You don't actually know, friends. Like, it was a gargantuan amount of money, and it's still lurking sitting out there. No, that inflation you're seeing, no, no, that's a load of BS. It, the, all that currency, it's still sitting out there, friends. These people, the bug eaters, if you will, they know exactly what they're doing, okay? They stay dormant. They stay waiting. They go and accumulate the assets that they need. And guess what? If a Bitcoin narrative comes, guess what? You're probably going to see, friends, it's going to be a lot of dodgy stuff, You're gonna, but you won't find out until a lot later. There are people with like ungodly amounts of currency, not even like, there's no public ledger. You don't know, okay? It's still sitting out there. I know it's sitting out there. I can feel it in my loins. And we're not even euphoric at a $69,000 Bitcoin. Think about that. But why? Why aren't we euphoric, friends, when we had a $69,000 Bitcoin? This is crazy, yeah? Bitcoin's had seven green monthly candles and we've stopped. How come we're not partying? It's because we know, man. We all know. We're like, you know what, man? The cost of living has gone up so much to get me excited, you know, you know, the old 69K, the new number is like 120K now. It's literally like a double, pretty much. Because, good friends, just to tell you as well, the official money supply con contraction was minus 1% in 2022. That's a load of BS, dude. That they were printing plus 5% like they do every year. It's about plus 45 that's the average. But they just put it in different accounts. So it looks like to the market, hey, we're actually contracting the money supply. No, you're not. No, you're not at all. Let me tell you something, friends. It's literally like... There's, there's empty beer bottles on your kitchen bench, but you're drunk. And I look at you and I'm like, wait a minute. You got drunk by drinking these beer bottles, right? And you're like, no, 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 I didn't. And then I end up looking in the bin and I just see those red cups. So basically, you poured your, you poured your beer bottle into the red cup and you drank from the cup. You go, well, I didn't drink from the beer bottle, did I? Oopsies. That's it's literally the exact same thing, okay? It's all about optics. We should also speak about Ethereum, friends. Uh, Ethereum is a uh, 3,400 American dollars. The ETH BTC ratio is super, super, super important, friends. It's literally the only thing you need to watch, by the way. You don't even need to watch their USD prices. You just got to watch that ratio. It's still 0.049. I've shown a fractal as well. Okay, it's very, very important. Look, I don't want to give basic formulas for everything, okay? But if there was a formula for crypto, it's literally, this is the past three times, it's literally this. It's... After the Bitcoin halvening, <laughs> go all in. That's it. On the Bitcoin halvening, just literally go freaking all in. There will be a crash either two months before on the halvening or two months after. It doesn't matter. You just go all in. And then you hold for 12 months. Sell exactly in 12 months from now. That's literally it. So in 12 months, are you on the uh, the cruise ship, friends? And have you landed at Monaco? As Mr. Crypto 7 7s. Have we actually landed there? Am I going to be partying naked, taking off my pants here on live stream for everybody? Just say, woo! Are we going to be doing that? I guess we'll find out. Before I show you the ETH BTC ratio, this is the total crypto market cap, friends. 2.5 trillion. Now, I'm going to make probably make another full video on this. I just got to let you guys know that, look, something advanced. This is like high level peanut brain stuff. Okay. We're still very like two, two, two IQ points. Look, you're getting confused now because why? Because what you're saying is, what was extreme risk taking here in meme coins is now the norm here. So people are thinking that they're at top signals right now. So memes were extreme back in 2021. Now we're desensitized to them. 
which means the bar has been raised higher. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but basically you can fry your brain with dopamine if you just indulge in too many things. For example, people who watch too many people fornicate premarital relations on the internet, also known as adult pornography. If you do that, you basically fry your brain. You're like, oh, then then you need like crazier and crazier stuff just to kind of like get that trigger point here and there. Well, it's kind of the same thing in crypto, for instance. It literally is not kind of something. It actually is the same thing. You're getting dopamine receptors frying up here, but now that's normal, which means, which means, friends, when the top comes in, and by the way, I hope it's like much higher. When the top comes in, I hope it's like eight to 10 trillion. The... The top signals are going to be like mind blowing. You'll be like, there's no way. You're probably looking at it right now. You guys are like, there's no way that thing is going to happen if we were told right now. Just like if you go back in 2020 and I told you, yeah, meme coins are going to go and everything else is not going to go because you're looking at all these institutions and XRP and all these and Litecoin and Charlie Lee and all this stuff that moved in 2017. And you'll be thinking, wait a minute, what about the DeFi stuff with them? You're like, no, no, they're trash actually too. All the meme coins actually erupt and you'll be in disbelief. You'll be in full on disbelief. Okay. So, if we were to be told what it is right now, because that's how you know, friends, the market's given it zero value. They're probably, they're probably worth a zero to us, but something's going to happen in the future to change it all. And what would that thing be? It would actually just be higher prices. So as we go up, we the higher prices will unlock new different types of top signals. You know, friends, it's going to be crazy. Do we, I can't even think about it. More tattoos. Someone might buy a crypto yacht. I don't know. Like someone just puts a Bitcoin logo on a yacht. You know what I mean? Like just things you can't conceive of a president, just another country, just something where you're just like, oh my gosh, but here's the thing, it builds up to it, okay, it doesn't go from now to that, because then you would just dump everything, wouldn't you, no, 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 it doesn't happen like that, okay, it happens in waves, slowly, 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 and then there you go, it's kind of like people get like really, really drunk, by the end of the night, they're like really, really sloppy, right, but you just see them stumbling throughout the night, at the start, they're buzzing, and they get a bit slurry, and by the end, they're just like laying down, see, if somebody just rocks up to the party, and it just collapses, and they lay down, you think, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with them, however, if they rock up to the party, they start to eat some Dorito chips, they have a little like sugar drink, then they go into the beers, and by the end, they're like smashing all the tequilas, and then they pass out. You're like, oh, that makes sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. However, just going from clean to pass out, you're like, oh, something's different. It's literally the exact same thing that's happening in crypto markets. Now, I'm going to quickly show you the Ethereum BTC ratio. It's still around here, friends, but what I've actually done before is I've just done a very nice fractal. So if you just do the fractal, you go to trading, you click on bars pattern here. And what I've done is I'm going to go to the actual Bitcoin halfening, which is May 2020. Literally, friends, exactly here. And this was pretty much the top. This is May 2021. This is pretty much it. So that's what it would look like if it started going up. And look, this would be a flipping. That'd be crazy if that happens. It flips and then unflips. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be crazy? Everybody goes all in up here, by the way. That's why, look, don't ever, don't. Just don't, don't give this a 0% probability because, by the way, that's right. Your friend saw me here wearing a Snorlax sleeping hat, okay? I literally conceived of this in 20, 2019, friends. Go, go back and I don't know if you guys can find like these old Telegram messages or, or Discord messages, right? I believed that everybody is going to go all in on Ethereum once the flipping happens. By the way, it's not even a, not even a, a like theory. You know MM Crypto, one of the biggest, largest uh, Bitcoin uh, YouTubers and crypto does like buy beat leverage trading. He's always like today for the Bitcoin price. So shout out to Chris out there. Well, in an interview, he literally said word for word. The interviewer asked him, what would you do if Ethereum flips Bitcoin? He goes, ah, I'll give it like less than 1% chance. Right. And he goes, okay, one less 1% chance. He goes, however, if it did happen, what would you do? He goes, well, my portfolio is 90% Bitcoin, 10% Ethereum. In the unlikely event that Ethereum flips Bitcoin, I will then flip it. And my jaw dropped. I was like, what? Yes. He goes, so it'd be 90% ETH, 10% Bitcoin. And I'm like, you know what? If he's thinking like that, I'm wondering if everybody else is thinking like that too. You get everybody trapped, then you realize Ethereum has a lot of competition and then it unflips again and then everybody's got to do it in the next one. That, that'll be crazy if that happens. By the way, don't worry about this chart pattern, friends. All you got to know is it goes up for 12 months. That's it. All right. That's the most important part. Please just remember it goes, it goes up for 12 months. That's what she said. Let's play some nice pump music for her as well, friends. Okay, that's all you need to know. Three out of three times, we just start going up. <clears throat> now, everybody joining you on the sidelines, thank you for liking and subscribing. You're probably wondering, hey, why don't you guys just like wait the whole time and then buy on the Bitcoin halvening and just avoid the two-year bear market? No, the problem is markets are a moving target and people get smarter and wiser and the market front runs it. And what a, you'd literally miss out on life-changing wealth opportunity reti to retire for most people if they just waited that whole time. Plus, it's not so easy because 
You don't just sit on the sidelines and then just watch and do nothing, okay? You're either in or if you ignore it and you come back, you have no conviction. So people joining in today, at least you have zero conviction. You don't, you don't know what the high price targets are or anything. You're like, you're so new, you're so fresh. You, they, they can't stomach like a 75% retrace. They, they can't stomach that whatsoever. They can't stomach the 50, 60% drops. Then, for example, Pulse Chain might run up to like 7x above day one sack at one point, and then one big whale just capitulates minus 60% in one wick. Bang, 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 bang. People aren't going to be used to stuff like that. And then probably people are going to panic out, and then we eventually grind back up. So these are the types of things that happen when you just keep onboarding new people. And Because remember, friends, there's the earliest 10%. That's us. We are now in the next 30%. The momentum players coming in, and then the final exit liquidity, 60% is coming later. Now, very interesting. <laughs> My poll survey results, friends, are in. I've, I've done them on YouTube and Twitter. The crowd expects a $100,000 to $200,000 Bitcoin price. And the weak spot is above that. So it's 250 k to 300 k That's the actual weak spot where no one expects it. So I'm going to show you the poll results right now. Look at this. So... So what you do, friends, so that, look, you can't just do this everywhere, but I'm just going to show you. So look, Bitcoin price at the top of this bull market, what's the guess? Look, the overwhelming majority, everybody is stacked between 100 to 200K. Look at that. And you got to remember, I would say my audience, you, you're more informed, way more informed than 99% of everyone else out there. Of course, highest value content, friends. I'm putting good stuff out to the world. Of course, you're absorbing all this peanut brain love. So look where none of us expect. By the way, when you see these results, friends, it's not, don't get offended or anything. Like I'm just telling you, I, I, I chose 100, 200K as well. That's my default. But why did I do this poll? I did this poll because I saw Mr. Corey Spaghetti Meatballs. He asked about it. I'm like, you know what? I read through all the post comments. I read through, Mr. shout out to Mr. Corey Spaghetti Meatballs, Mr. Corey Costa. And I looked at it. I was like, hey, I've had an epiphany. Every single person, even me, expects 100, 200K as like a most likely thing. I go, I know, I bet I bet we're going to find something out if I do this poll. And that's exactly what ha happened, right? So we are all, this is our mid-curve. So friends, look, no, no one in, okay. No one <laughs> enters markets being in the 1% just by themselves. It's statistically impossible with everything, okay? It's, it's statistically impossible because it's a moving target. For example, <laughs> no one plays tennis always hitting where the other the other guy, the opponent, uh, is not going to move. They don't know that. So effectively what I'm saying is you're reacting to them. You understand that? You're reacting and you're learning real uh, in real life information, okay? It's it's live. So that's obviously, that's that's what a game is, right? You're playing with each, you're playing against each other. Same, you know, same as any sport. Well, it's the same thing in markets. Nobody just knows, oh, up, down, left, down, there, there, there. No one actually knows that. What you have to do is, you have to go, okay, well, what's the direction it's going now? And what, what do I feel everybody is positioned for? Because remember, the secret to markets, friends, is expectations. You know, if I only had a friend out here, he's literally written that on his treasure chest. Uh, here, friends, I've written it out here. Here you go. The only secret to markets is positioning. Now you see why. That's literally the only secret because you can unlock where the upside, un because here, friends, if you have a 100, 200K target, you can tell that people who are short, they have a breaking point above that. So no one who's short right now thinks that they'll ever get pinged if they have a 300K stop, you know what I mean, for example. And that's also reflected in people who are with sideline money to buy. A lot of people think, you know what, I've, I'm going to wait this bear market out. I'm going to buy in the next bear market because you guys are going to get wrecked. It's probably going to stop at 150K, so I'm going to be sweet. Yeah, but what do you think their faces are going to be like when it taps at 201 and then 205 and then 220? And then 265. Then they're actually buying the tops. You see what I mean? That's pretty much that's what happens every single cycle. The volatility, the upside is extreme. Now, the the lowest where everyone expects is definitely this 200k to 300k mark. Isn't that isn't that crazy, right? Te technically, look, technically you can always just find the gaps, but markets are moving targets. So, look, you, you never know, right? If Bitcoin just has a 30% crash now, probably everyone's targets change again. You know what I mean? So, but that's just, it's something interesting just to think about as we're moving up if this maintains itself, you know? Now, this is actually really interesting. And Sam Friends has hit main character status euphoria. All right, so And Sam has entered a telegram and it went up, the coin just went up 100X. He just entered the telegram. So the coin went from 50K market cap to 5 million. And I have this post here up for you. So who is And Sam? He is this guy. He is, became really, really popular friends on Twitter and stuff. 
And look, he's actually simping. What's your Soilana address? So for this girl, friends, please. I don't, just promise me something. I don't, I don't care how much money you make. Do not simp money to females on the internet. You can't be any more of a loser. And look, I don't care how much money you have. You understand? You, you tell her, hey, this is my Soilana address. You send me something. That's what you have to do, okay? But we got to do some dating advice show for you guys <laughs> at the top of the pool market. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so I made this right up here to show you. Okay, so Ansem, right? So he became he he was cheering on Soilana in the bear market, and he became like a crowd favorite. Why? Because Soilana went up. Okay, but he's reached glory status. the cr The crowd has given him the crown emoji. Okay, so. I'll just to let you know how these how this ends, okay? So there are a lot of main characters you've seen. Richard Hart was a main character, Duke Kwon, Soy Bank and Freed, many, many, many main characters, and they get taken down, okay? They pretty much get taken down, or if they survive, they are nowhere near their early peak, nowhere even close. Friends, they even came for Kobe. You know, like Kobe is like an industry favorite. Everyone loves him, but because he did the FTX deal and accepted sponsorship, and he, like he trusted FTX. And remember, friends, Kobe always thinks about worlds of probabilities. He goes, he probably thought, What's the chance that this guy's running a Ponzi when he's giving me this much money to do the sponsorship and he's everywhere on TV and he's on he's probably like, oh, less than 1%. Guess what? It was the less than 1%. That's why a lot of these people are like, you know what? Screw this game. I'm out. That's why crypto friends, it can do the 1% on the downside, but also it can do the 1% to the upside. You see what I mean? Also changes your life. That's why everybody's here. So here's the thing though, right? The main character, the euphoria is too high, okay? And here's the thing. So... If I was Ansem, so this is me, I'm rational now. Okay, I'm rational, it's not happening to me. A lot of you guys think that I'm going to become a main character. You know, friends, if, if Pulse Chain recovers up and Pulse Chain like goes up, I'm literally the biggest freaking jackpot of all time because everyone's just going to find, wow, this guy made 2,200 videos telling us to buy and no one listened. You know what I mean? It's exactly what basically Ansem did, but it was just, it was less aggressive. It was less, it, it was, it spoke with conviction, but not, it not only we need to level that we're doing, right? So... Basically, if I was him, what you'd have to do is, okay, is and this is every main character, now that you've hit Euphoria, you have to make a captain's call. And you actually have to tell everybody, hey, man, guys, it's time to check out. It's time to check out. And you say, hey, I'm not selling everything here, but a lot of you guys are euphoric. And if you've made life-changing games today, you have to cover yourself now. Do you have a wedding? Do you have bills to pay? Do you have all these? You should cover yourself now, okay? And, and basically... I absolve myself from all sins from today. Everything from here is on you, okay? If you notice that, friends, by the way, in all of my prophecy calls, which is actually right here, this is exactly what your friend Sami does, right? Whenever something happens here, friends, it hits a point where I don't necessarily just exit everything, not every time, but I'll just let everybody know, hey, by the way, these things have been updated over time. So there'll be a point, I'm like, you know what, top 10x, okay, you know what? You're all on side. I don't want to hear any whinging. Anybody who whinges after me, doesn't matter. I'm just going to plant this result in your face, okay? Because pretty much, friends, it's a it's a continuum and it's a train ride. And everybody wants a train to keep going forever. But that's why I have a measured approach. That's why everyone watches me, man. That's why literally everybody watches me. That's why they're too scared to follow me on main accounts. The people got to follow me, put me on lists, and do alt accounts because I'm just so freaking spicy. I tell the truth because I don't care, man. I got scammed with you. I got scammed with you. Scam, friends. Obviously, you just got to use that word as a summary term. You don't really get scammed. It's like, hey, you take some hits here and there. Of course it is. Okay, but we're made for this game. So I'm telling you, that's, that's the thing you got to do. You got to basically check out. No one does that, though. <clears throat> no one does that. And by the way, who checked out? Ivan. Ivan just disappeared though. And what did the crowd do? They got more jealous. They got more jealous at Ivan because they said, hey, you made 200X in poker starter. Your 10 grand is now worth 2 million. And now you're exiting because you've made life-changing gains and you don't want us to get rich. Friends, go you go back and read the comments. People were literally saying that. Okay. It was literally being people were being talking about it in Telegram and all, all of these everywhere. And I was like, whoa. You know, now I didn't take note of it, but now you look back, oh wow, that's that's the crowd feeling entitled. They're like, ah, I'm entitled to these gains now. Why? It's because believers, us, we held through all the times with the cheap prices. Now that the prices are up 20 to 30 times higher, these people are still in. They go, no, no, no. You finally got me to input my money in. Therefore, I'm entitled to higher gains now that you finally got me in. That's how the crowd believes. That's, cre that's greed. That's literally greed. Okay. It's literally 100%. That's the definition of it. Okay. So... What he would have to do is he would have to check out if I was him. I'd be like, I'd be like well, he either disappears 
which they never do, by the way. You can't disappear, friends. Everyone's sucking you off. Everyone is literally begging to put their ice cubes in your orange cast, in your glass of orange juice. Every single person is begging, hey, can I please feel your sharp elbows? By the way, Anthem's going around. There's all these, like, he's partying with girls. He's all drunk. He's, put, he's got the hat on. He's, like, walking around the city. Friends, there's actually pictures of him partying with girls. Look at this. He's giving this girl his hat. This is his hat. He's partying. Like, you just got so many. Look at this, friends. You can't see this, but I'm going to zoom in. Look at this. You see down here, do you see this? This is the dog with hat logo. You see that? It's a dog with hat sticker. He's got like that little, you know, like a little Polaroid. He's walking around in real life with this. Literally, you can't be any more euphoric. Like everybody's like giving him the crown. Like I just told you, he entered a telegram and the coin went up 100x. Okay, so people are like watching this from the sidelines and they're like, yes, hi, the cat and the frog and all these. And no, see friends, look, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy, okay, because I'm literally saying, guess what, guys, uh, you're way too euphoric. Soilana could become irrelevant on average downtrend from here for the next 12 months as Ethereum and Layer 2s and other stuff take over and other liquidity injections as ETH price reprices. That could, very, that could be a possibility. And all your dog coin stuff just bleed out from here on. See, but it takes time, friends. No one believes it because it's a, it's a wave of buyers coming in and out. And things just downtrend over time. So it's not like there's, oh, you're not going to drop 99%. But this is a possible reality. Or it goes sideways for a year. Like dog with hat could just go sideways for literally one year. And then it does its mega moonshot 10x at the very, very end in one year. So you don't know. You don't know these. The thing is, if you're a main character status, you're not thinking about this stuff. Okay, you're not because you're you got begin given the crown. You clearly like, aha, I knew I'm the king. That's why friends like if if Pulse Chain goes and moonshots and then all these things happen, everybody's gonna be begging me, do the crown. They go, they're probably gonna be sending me stuff. Hey, do you like this? Do you like that? And I'm um, friends, you know me. You know me. Razor sharp. I'll be telling everyone, you know what? I love you all, but the believers were here in 2022. The believers were here when Richard Hart. The fat dude twerking on the stage was being sent from your family, friends, and everybody saying, "Ah, you lost, everybody, you lost." You know. By the way, I know other coins and stuff as well. It's just that the rich, the pulse chain is. It's the most popular, easiest to talk about, easy for marketing. Everybody's present. It's like the best example ever. Like no one, the chain link community, friends, like and all these other ones, they're just too blue chip. You know what I mean? They're just not spicy enough for the upside, even though we own them. But it just you get the point. So look. Look how unlikely it is for them to check out, friends. So I've written here, think about how unlikely it was for Du Quan or Richard Hart to tell their fan base to sell and take profit. So that's pretty much what would Ansem have to do. He'd have to be like, hey, guys, guess what? I think Soilana's pretty much priced in a lot of big move. And you got to think, no way he'll do that, friends. No freaking way. You know the people who put the crown on him? Yeah, they'll literally just stab him in the neck if you say that, something like that. That's why Ivan just walked away. He just literally walked away. He did the, did the Dave Chappelle move. He's like, you know what? I'm, I'm walking away. Okay, now, I don't know if I'll walk away. I don't know what I'll do because, friends, I just love, you know, I'm, I'm fierce and ferocious. But it is what it is, man. It, look, it's it's too hard to look people in the eye. Look, because you think, oh, it's easy. You'll be in being, Yeah, but, friends, this, you're going to be outnumbered 10 to 1. Okay, so, yeah, I'm, when I'm talking to people, there's you. And then what if I'm like 150K subs or something? Or just, you know what I mean? We're outnumbered 10 to 1. The, remember, the earliest 10%. Make it. The next thirty percent have the momentum trade, and then everybody, the final sixty percent, come in. You never know, friends. Maybe I get some god tier caught. Maybe like Pulse Chain, for example, moonshots, and then Crypto Banter. Shout out to Randy Boo. He's like, guys, I've been watching this guy, guy, your friend Sammy, who you know I didn't like him at the start, blah blah blah, but he's actually been talking about Pulse because Rand's like a really giving, open person like that. You never know. Maybe there's Crypto Banter with a million people. Maybe just like thirty thousand people sign up to me, and then they're like, hey, I didn't make money in the bull market yet. What's the next thing I should do? That's what be begging me to do that. And I have like, I'll be overwhelmed with all these people. And I have to do like the normal adult responsible thing. I take off my pants on camera, spin it in them, put glitter on my face and start eating jelly beans and then just walk away. <laughs> and that's pretty much what I have to do. That's the only thing to do because you know, you're like, hey, sorry, you're all top signals. Sorry, you're all, that's it. You know, it's crazy. Now, it's very interesting, friends. One person did actually sell. And his name was Charlie Lee from Litecoin. And they crucified him. So you can even see it right here. Yeah? Look at this, look at this. He says, you know, in 2013, Charlie Lee left Google, worked at Coinbase, 
Lee held the position of engineering director until 2017. In December of 2017, the top, Lee announced on Reddit that he sold almost all of his Litecoin holdings due to a perceived conflict of interest, which was the biggest load of BS you've ever heard in your life. He literally, friends, he literally, he sold the top and then he told everyone, he actually said, I'm not joking, he said, look, um, there's a conflict of interest now, like, uh, because I own too much. Basically, it's the dumbest thing you've ever heard, right? It's just, he said, like, oh, it's like, it's, it, I'm too biased now because I own too much. So, therefore, what I've actually got to do is I've actually got to sell and then I'm not biased anymore, right? And I'm actually going to show you the chart right now where he sold, okay? You can actually see it, friends, like forever etched in history. Let's look at the linear chart. This is what it looked like back here. This was 27 and you see that? He started selling here in November. So, he had, like, basically got it for free, friends. He founded it. Got it for free. He started dumping, he's bit dump, 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 dump. He announced on Reddit, he dumped and it was basically all over. So he actually sold the top and look at that ever since then. By the way, like it just, it's never recovered since, right? If you even look at, if you look at Litecoin versus its BTC ratio, you'd be able to see just how aggressive it was back then. Just to show you friends, conflict of interest and stuff here and there. So, you know, this is pretty much, look, Litecoin has done absolutely nothing since it's down and he sold where he sold. He sold everything up here, Okay. He sold everything up here. So against Bitcoin, it's pretty much, you can actually check what it is now. Yes, down 95% versus Bitcoin. So there you go. So that's an example. Every, by the way, everybody in the industry knows this. Everyone knows, oh my gosh, that's what happens when you sell and you tell everybody you sell. You know, even Richard Hart learned from that. Every, everyone learned from that. Like, uh-oh, you know, I better not ever do that. That's off the cards. So what happens after that, friends, is, <clears throat> see, you got to really understand this main character stuff because this is how you're going to, you have to understand this for picking euphoria in the stuff you're in, okay? That's why we're got, spending such a long, dedicated time to it, friends. So, so his main character status, he's supposed to check out, but they don't because the euphoria and stuff in your ego, remember like Richard Hart, remember he said, I solved, I've got a hex movie. We've win, we won, we won, we won. Everybody's cheering, 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 we won. We, we, we've actually won. Remember, Richard Hart met up with Dr. Hexologist, okay, after giving me a prostate exam. Richard literally told him like, dude, don't worry, we won. We've won, you know? Now, I want you to think about, when he said we've won, change it to we've lost, because that's exactly what we did after that. That's pretty much it, you know? That, you know people saying we've lost now? Yeah, they should be switching it to, no, no, no we've won. We've won, we've won, we won. You say it at the bottoms, at the tops, everyone, when everyone's saying we've won, you go, oh, actually, now it's going to like, we're going to peak status, okay? So after this point, what happens though? It's a period of time, but prices go down, people lose a lot of money, and then you will realize only after the prices have gone down that everybody who bet with money they couldn't afford to lose has now lost all that money that they couldn't afford to lose. The paper gains are too aggressive, they were, and they were, you realize they were all leaning into all these main characters Whoever it is now, it's Anthem. They're leaning into their ego and their confidence and their, they see their, their community network effect as an asset. That's why they always price it in. Whenever he touches something, okay, let's go up because it's backed by all his community who are in the mood for buying. However, no one ever thinks, hey, wait a minute. What if a switch goes off and these people who are in the mood for buying, what if they're not in the mood for buying anymore? What if they're in the mood for selling or rotating? But you can, no one ever thinks like that when it's euphoria, friends. That's why, friends, that's literally why you're at a party Okay, maybe on some illicit substances with a female and she's like being really nice to you and you think she's into you and then I've got to pull you aside. I go, bro, her pupils are out of her head. She doesn't even remember your name. She's studying, her jaws like swing sideways, you know what I mean? Like once she comes off whatever she's on, she's probably not even going to talk to you ever again because she's going to like feel so embarrassed. She's like, oh, why don't you talk to that guy? Okay, so a, a lot of me, males have to go through this, right? When going out in nightclub and stuff. So this is just a reality, friends. But you don't want to hear that from me saying, hey, man, like, just don't fall in love with her because, you know, she's she's fried. So she's fried. Look at her pupils. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't even know where she is pretty much right now. She's just, like, on journey of self-discovery, and it is what it is, okay? But no one wants to hear that. Everyone wants to hear the romantic story. No, this is it. This is true. But it is what it is, friends. That's why this game's not for everyone, the winners. You understand? So prices go down, and everyone, friends, you know, it becomes more and more aggressive. Now, the final part, how's all of it end? Well, it ends very sad because, you know, everybody knows it's a game. You know it's a game. You're walking in a casino, okay? You don't walk in a casino, lose, and then blame the casino. You know, okay, you walked in a casino. There are some implicit rules here and there. However, the bottom 1% of people are psychopaths. That's true. 1% of society, friends, are complete psychopaths. And guess what? You're dealing with, you know, uh, 100,000 people who know you now, okay? 100,000 people, friends. What's 1% of 100,000 people? 1,000 people. That means Ansem has 1,000 psychos who are in with him. And guess what? 
60% of those psychos. So now there's 600 people who are buying in the tops. The earliest psychos, the, the first 100 that'll actually like chew you in your, in your sleep, they're fine. Then the next 300, they're okay. But the final 600 psychos, that's pretty much a sad reality of what they're dealing with. They're going to lose their money. <clears throat> they're going to lose their money. They're going to get crushed. And what they're going to do is they're going to stalk him. They're going to stalk him. They're going to dig up all the addresses. The people out there, I'm going to tell them, I'll, I'll literally tell them, bro, stop wasting your time. You have to move on. DCA and do stuff. I give strategies to like move on from that. Basically, these people, when they get hit from the horse, they want to stay down on the floor and roll around and like, you know, sing songs and eat the dirt and play with the grass. And I'm telling you, get up, get up, get up, Rocky, and knock the guy out. That's basically, I'm, I'm, get up, you bum, get up. You know what I mean? So that's me. But these people, they're psychos, friends. They want to roll around in the misery, and then they come, it's all in your head, and they want to come out and just start water pistoling everyone. So they'll dig up all the addresses, they dig up everything, and then they'll find inconsistency somewhere. So what they'll do is they'll go and they'll find, okay, well, did you take profit on a coin on this date? What did your address say? And they'll be like, wait a minute. You were saying this coin was still a buy of a lifetime up here, but you actually sold from, you know what I mean? You sold all of your coins. You don't have any of them left. They're going to find stuff like that and they're going to crucify him for it. Crucify. And it'll just be one. And then guess what, friends? All the ants and people who didn't participate make money off him, they will latch on to that reason and go, well, you see, I was right for not participating because look at the scamming he did when really it was just like if you front run everything, all these insider friends and stuff, they got to kill, they got to crush it pretty much because the, the first 99 times did well and the one time just, just got wrecked. Unfortunately, though, the one time it got wrecked, wrecks everybody. Okay, same thing with Pulse Chain, for example. The first five to 10,000 people in Hex crushed it. What happened to the last 150,000? So there's 200K people. The first 10,000 crushed it. The next 20,000 do okay. The bottom 170,000, probably all watching this video right now, praying for green candles. You see that? That's markers and network effects, friends. It's PVP, okay? Everybody's here to dump on the next one. That's why you need high growth. You always, you need higher growth, pretty much it, okay? So that's, look, the crowd will look for every reason, right, to hate because they just lost money. And this will just reflexively death spiral. And then now he's not cool anymore. He's like, oh, remember that scamming? Remember that one incident and everything here and there? Okay, that's pretty much it. You get tainted. And now suddenly your crown, the crowd takes it off. And they make jokes of you and they start. And people who were into you and then didn't. And then stories and rumors come out like, oh, I was in from here. And I remember this inconsistency and stuff. Okay, so this is all the stuff that comes out when the tokens get. Friends, that's why I don't release coins. That's why I don't release coins because releasing coins means, hey, everybody, come and join this for me. And basically, implicitly, you're telling everyone, when it goes down, you can bug me forever. And whenever I post, you can post that chart that I made that I told you would go up and I'll just do that for the rest of your life. Okay, and I'll, I know this game. I know this game too well. You understand? I'm in the trenches with you. Okay, you're my Habibi Albi. Don't forget that. So the truth is only 10% of a coins people can exit and actually make it. And then the rest will ride it towards zero. That's just it, friends. It's just it. The, the euphoria and everything is just too much. The people, friends, if you have money in the bank account, you're not actually euphoric at that money. You're euphoric at the things that money can buy you. Okay. So that's why paper gains stay in crypto markets. When people gains go up, they treat it as their bank account and they're like, oh, look at all the things I can buy. I could buy a car, I could buy a mansion and stuff. So they're getting the euphoria feeling, but they haven't actually cashed out yet because the cashing out doesn't give you the euphoria. It's just seeing the number go up and the speculating of, wow, I can buy so many things. So look, have a look at this again, friends. Maybe you'll look at this. It's another one. By the way, there's been many, many main characters. It's just that Ansem is like number one now. That's it. You know, I hope that I make me main character, but maybe kind of do because that means all the bags went up. Isn't that funny? But then it'd be kind of sad. I'm like, hey, everybody joining, you're all top signals and I've got to get the F out. Okay. Maybe play some Pokemon. So after hearing all this, I conclude with you this, all right? I've given you 100 plus guiding principles about, you know, things like exit times, looking for euphoria, stacking core coins and other events, okay? Now you know why, friends. A lot of people ask me thousands of times, why buy in the depression selling the euphoria? Now you know why, okay? Now you know why. Now, are you, now you're going to see why I was here every hour of the day making video after video, doing research, looking at all the ratios, all the charts, investigating, sniffing a lot of people's chairs in 2022 and 2023 because I knew this day would come. I've been waiting for it. I've been, I'm imagining it. I know exactly what it's like. 
Isn't that crazy? All these people, they're geniuses, friends. Some of them geniuses, some luck shot, all these main characters, right? All big egos and stuff. They can't see what I see. They can't see what I see. You know why? Ego. That's why. It's because finally when it comes to them, they're like, yes, I've been working for this moment so long. Oh, everybody just bathe in my glory. Now, they're not all like that. A lot of them are humble, but that's pretty much the metaphor of what they do. Whereas your friend Sami here, I get the gloves and I'm like, hello, stranger, you're going to be a top signal for me today. I'll just punch on with them. You know what I mean? That's, you've never seen anything like that, but you never know. You've learned too much. You've just learned way too much, friends. Like, subscribe, baby, and I'll catch you soon.